for 53 in the third round last year. This is a guy who was just showing up over and over again in the preseason as he transitions from being an on-ball linebacker, one of their explosive playmakers as a will linebacker in this scheme. At their eight-yard line. Off the play fake. McSorley from the end zone. Most complete short game. And by its defense. Bridgewater dumps it off for Ian Thomas, but he gets hit behind the line by Zach Ball and the rookie. Tyler Hunt. Really likely in the second half of tonight's game. It was the Dobbins off left tackle, cuts it back along the hash. And yeah, the Ravens will have a third and long. So you, you grab Bateman, you can have players there to make some plays for him. As soon as pass is batted into the air at the line of scrimmage, Zach Andrews, one of the best tight ends in the National Football League. I mean, he's a key cog to this offensive passing game. So, yes, the receivers are there, but, you know, for almost uh, 192 yards a game. A game? A game. That's the only college. So it did that far. I thought he was in that, that buffer. Sorley scrambles to his right, tries to extend the play. Now he'll tuck and run, and it's spun out of bounds after a short game. On third and 11, McSorley under pressure, scrambles to the left. He's got room, but flag is down. We saw Trace McSorley shoulder out of bounds, a late flag thrown. That might be a within a whisper of the sideline, and somebody hits you, that's definitely a flag. But if you're a star, he wasn't out of bounds, though. Sorely out of the gun. Bates rush four. They go screen. Justice Hill sidestep one tackler, but it's spun down at the 25 yard line. So it will be the field goal team. Yeah, like. heavily targeted by Trevor Lawrence. Back to the ground game. James Robinson, no game. Malcolm Jenkins is in there and a host of Saints players. Going back to Earth. He's been aware of that and doing everything he can to understand it. On second and ten, Malcolm Jenkins. Down the sideline. And a bit for the young quarterback. There's Bevel in his first year as Jacksonville offensive coordinator, replacing Jay Gruden. Carlos and get some success going. 0 for 3 so far on third down. Here's third and 11. There's some pressure by the Saints up the middle. It's picked up nicely and it's caught. And it's Marvin Jones. There is a Travis Etienne in the game. Some comfort level. For long, the pressure got it away. ETN could have gotten more out of Lawrence. You see, there's going to be a great pickup by James Robinson right there on Chase Hansen. But now I'm just escaping. I'm going to take a chance downfield. This ball, he's lucky it's not intercepted by Will. Draw. Carlos Hyde. I think you have to give the Saints defense credit here. This is a defense that right now, when you see Zach Vaughn right at the point of attack, number 53, drafted in the third round last year. This is a guy who was just showing up over and over again in the preseason as he transitions from being an on-ball linebacker at Wisconsin and a great pass rusher to really be one of their explosive playmakers as a will linebacker in this scheme. Oh, you think it's funny, oh? I see how niggas laughing. Oh, you think it's funny, oh? Conversation talking one on one. You each have your conversation with the other ones. Yeah, I need you all on my own. It's getting hard cause I've been all alone. It's been the same since you left me alone. It's been the same since I left you at home. And I think I got another bigger on my hand. Yeah, yeah. I just switch it up cause you know I'm the man. Yeah, yeah. I told her that I can fly like Peter Pan. Yeah, yeah. She gon' play your heart just like it's on the man. Yeah, yeah. And I see how niggas asking for a handout. I'm gonna wrap your heart in this around